16-year-old Jamali Samuel has a clear vision for his future. His belief in youth and agricultural development, as well as his keen interest in serving, are early signs of his budding political career. It is often said there are three things you should never discuss. Religion, money, and politics. But anyone who's ever met 16-year-old Jamali Samuel knows the teenager stands ready to discuss his future in politics with anyone who's willing to listen. Jamali has his eyes set on becoming the next MP for Ruka Maloney before he takes leadership of the country. No, they might say it's far-fetched, but it's a lot of work. And I believe with the right guidance and the right way in leading people, people will always be on your side. So that is what it is about for me. I also want to pursue a law degree. And I also want to make Trinidad a food secure country. Unlike others who may have lofty ideas about their future, Jamali has already started putting his plans into action. In 2019, when news of the COVID-19 pandemic and its negative effects on the economy spread worldwide, Jamali began to think of ways for people to earn an extra income. As a result, he founded the Wallerfield Youth Livestock Project to assist young people between the ages of 15 to 35 learn about farming techniques. Right now we have Bodhi and we have Pumpkin. We try to plant a very healthy and more sustainable, right? So most of our stuff we put into our crops or the, the plant of our crops is organic, right? We had a lot of limestone to equal the pH within the soil. And right now we have a lot of animals we con which consist of pigs, we have one goat, we have some rabbits, we have some ducks, we have layers, we have broilers. He has since received technical support from the Ministry of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries on aspects such as animal husbandry and primitive and modernized farming. Over time, the farm has grown into something fruitful as young Jamali nurtures not only the soil on his land but the minds of his students. So I believe that I wanted to start a way for youths that are not academically inclined to get into farming. Right? It also have a lot of youths who want to pursue agriculture, they just want to learn it. Most of them don't have the understanding that it's a business also. So giving them the opportunity and giving them the training at such a young age, it will be good. His eldest student is 38 years old and Jamali considers it a privilege to teach someone older than him. Youths could teach adults, you know, to have that misinterpretation where they say that a youth cannot teach an adult, but I believe that is so untrue. Anyone could teach anyone, no matter of age, race or gender. He plans to change the name of the organization to the Trinidad and Tobago Youth Farming Association. In 2021, Jamali was told about the U.S. Embassy's Youth Ambassadors Program by his relative, Auntie Alice, and two other elders in the community. And from there, I went to Auntie Alice again and I said, Auntie, how I could I get a more understanding of this project? And she gave me the full details of it. We stayed up the whole night, we started to read through, get a good understanding of the project. And I believe it was for me, so immediately I started the signing up process. And I was accepted in February of this year. Jamali is now a youth ambassador, and the role will provide some much-needed international experience as he will travel to the United States in July. With all he has on his plate, his academic career is still flourishing. He plans to write nine subjects at the CXC exams next year and is even attempting principles of business this year as a Form 4 student. As for his extracurricular activities, he is a lover of football and said farming is a fun activity for him to do. Some people might think that the agriculture is something that's serious to me, but it's something that I try to enjoy because that's why I got into it. I didn't want to start it for it to be too serious. I believe in everything they're doing, you must have fun. I attend school, I'm very happy to attend school all the time. So this is my fun here. When you see me in the farm, it's my fun. When you see me in the court, it's my fun. When you see me in school, that's my fun. He thanked his uncle for being the most influential person in his life and for introducing him to black leaders such as Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X. Since it takes a village to raise a child, Jamali appreciates his school, teachers, relatives, friends, and well-wishers for all their support and input into his life. I am Kimberly D'Souza and this is See Yourself on TTT News.